Hi, welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on matrices. In this video, what I'm doing is I'm multiplying a scalar into the matrix. A scalar means it's just a single number versus something more complicated. The number is 4 thirds. I know you're thinking a fraction is complicated, but it is still just a single number even though it's a fraction. So 4 thirds, what this means when you multiply by a fraction, because I know sometimes students, especially in a quiz or a test, are kind of stressed and they do it wrong. It doesn't mean the 6 multiplies to the top and the bottom, it just means that the 6 multiplies to the numerator, because the 6 is really negative 6 over 1. Moreover, what I'm saying is I want to take the 6 and multiply it by 4, but I also want to divide it by 3. And in this case, dividing it by 3 is going to be an easier first step. 6 divided by 3 is 2, 2 times 4 is 8, and my first element is going to be a negative 8. So I look at my next number, 9 over 1. 9 divided by 3 is 3, 3 times 4 is 12. 3 divided by 3 is 1, 1 times 4 is 4, I get a 0. 3 doesn't go into 14, so now I just multiply the 14 to the numerator because this is essentially 14 over 1, and the 3 doesn't multiply to the 14, it divides. 4 times 14 is 56 thirds. All right, 15 divided by 3 is 5, times 4 is 20. 17 doesn't divide by 3, so 3 doesn't divide into 17. 4 times 17 is 68, so we have 68 over 3. 3 does go into 18 6 times. 6 times 4 is 24. And 3 does not go into 22. 4 times 22 is 88 over 3. Now, if any of these fractions could be reduced, I would reduce them, but since 3 is a prime number and we tested for the dividing beforehand, we know it won't divide afterwards. So you do that division first, you're essentially doing the reducing of your fraction in the first step. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks!